Hi there. Whether this is new for you or just a review, welcome to the fundamentals of logic. Maths does get very complicated, but here we're going to try and start from the beginning. The topic of logic, though, is not something you learn when you first start maths as a child. It's just too abstract, but it is the very basic ideas that make maths work. So what is logic exactly? Logic is the science of thinking systematically. In other words, thinking like a machine so that the same inputs always give the same outputs. You might think that this sounds cool and important. You might think it sounds horrible and scary. It's kind of both, but that is another topic. Logic was first studied in the West by Aristotle over 2,000 years ago, and in the East at about the same time. Since then, it has become much more organized and well-defined, and mathematicians love making things well-defined. The foundation of logic is statements. Statements, or propositions, are sentences which declare something. A statement can be true when it declares something that exists, or false when it declares something that does not exist, but it cannot be both. Here are some examples of statements. February has 30 days. 4 plus 2 equals 6. George Bush was the US president, and tomorrow is Tuesday. So, depending on when you're watching this, either two or three of those statements are actually true right now. There are other sentences that are not statements and cannot be either true or false. For example, have you done it? Please hand me a towel. Do you want to dance? And stop the bus! These are useful sentences, either questions or commands, but they cannot be given a truth value. They cannot be either true or false. Let me focus on the idea of a truth value, just the idea of a statement being true or false. This seems obvious, but it's also absolutely important. Truth values are binary. They are always in one of two states true or false. Computers also use binary. The basic unit of computer language is the bit, or the binary digit, and that is either a 1 or a 0. A bit is the most fundamental unit of information. It is the smallest amount of change where it is possible to communicate anything at all. Up or down, yes or no, in or out, 1 or 0. Truth values are, very simply, the foundation of all meaning. They are the only way that it's possible for anything we say to transfer information. But how do we go from statements and truth values to all the different work that we've done in maths and other subjects as well? We do this by using axioms. Axioms are statements that we just assume to be true. That's it. We just assume. Every system needs some axioms, and sometimes we find new ones. It doesn't sound very scientific though, right? Aren't we just guessing now? Well, yeah. There have to be some guesses, but we try to make our ideas precise, and then we test them against other theories and what works in the real world. This is how we work towards making better guesses in the future. Now we're going to construct some more complex statements, or compound statements. In chemistry, a compound is a substance that is made of two or more different elements. And in logic, a compound statement is a statement that is made of more than just one simple statement. This usually uses some connecting words, but let's look at some examples to make it clearer. I'll just run through the basic types and then we'll look at them in more detail. We've already talked about simple statements, a sentence that declares something true or false. Then we could also have a negation, which is a simple statement that has a reversed truth value. We will usually use a word like not or some other negative word. Next, we have the conjunction, which is two simple statements connected so that both are suggested to be true, maybe using a word like and or but. Next, 
there is a disjunction. These again are two simple statements, but they're connected so that at least one is suggested to be true, probably using the word or. There are two types of conjunction, but we'll come back to those shortly. A side note, but just because a compound statement suggests one or more statements are true, it doesn't mean they actually are true. We have to decide after that whether they are true or not. Another type of compound statement is the conditional. This says that the truth of one statement depends upon the truth of another statement, such as when we say that if one thing happens, then something else will happen. Finally, there is the biconditional, which makes a two-way conditional between statements, so the if-then relationship will go in both directions. Now we'll go through each of these in more detail, along with how we use them in doing logic. Hi there, hope you found that interesting. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. If you prefer longer videos, you can find these lessons stitched together on our other channel just up there. But whatever you do, please, please keep learning something, because no matter who you are or how old you are, every day really is a school day. Bye for now.